All right, guys, we're out here with the Mario quadcopter. There he is, little Mario in all his glory. Okay, we'll see. <laughs> there's, listen, there's not a lot to this thing, okay? Um, uh, it only has one deal going on here. It has this uh, rate button. Other than that, um, I'm going to reset the thing here. The gyro. Um, yeah, it only has a rate button. It has no, doesn't do flips, which I didn't think it would do flips good anyway because of the weight of this. If it spun over, it would probably fall, you know? So I don't even think it would uh, stay flying after that. I'm not expecting this thing to be uh, fast or anything like that. It's probably going to be pretty lethargic and slow, but <clears throat> we'll see, right? That's what we're here for, to find out. Yeah, it's definitely... Uh, pretty slow even in the uh, fast rate it's not that fast there's a little bit of wind at my back here this is definitely an indoor type deal I wouldn't uh, really think that uh, you were going to be doing much outdoor flying with this thing this is mostly like in the backyard or something in the uh, the pitch uh, in the um, living room or something like that. I'm just going to take it out there and check the range on it. it the pitch, uh, when it's going back, is not as sub, severe as the pitch going forward. So, whoa. Come on, baby. Uh, so there might be a little weight balance issue going on with this thing. It might be a little, it might be a little front heavy. It's actually pretty hard to actually fly this thing. It doesn't really respond too well. You know, it's one of them collector's item deals, you know, it's, and for kids, you know, probably a five-year-old or something, or seven-year-old would probably love the hell out of it but it uh, I mean I don't think it's gonna be doing like funnels and all that crap it doesn't do any flips or there we got a little one going here with Mario but yeah I don't know it's just a backyard thing See if it'll go all the way to the what the range is. Let me bring it down just in case. It really falls fast like that. It you kind of like yeah, it goes in its wash. Yeah, it, it, the range is good enough for what the range is good enough for what you're going to be using it for. You see how it just like falls like that. You know, it doesn't have any, you see that? When you just try to uh, lower the throttle any, it just like wants to drop. I think there is definitely a weight issue going on there. Now the flight time, it might be okay, but uh, see I'm coming full back on the, on the stick and it's coming back very slowly, so. And just trying to get it to climb can be a chore also. Yeah, it's not a good flyer at all. And believe me, I didn't, I wasn't expecting it to be, okay? I was expecting basically to do what it's doing, which is not a whole hell of a lot. God, it loses that altitude real fast like that. 
you have to keep the the throttle pretty much um, pretty much pegged all the time you start letting the throttle down you have to keep the throttle like at, at least three quarters all the time because if you don't it just is gonna it's just gonna drop right out just drop out of there it's actually not that flyable See, I got the throttle all the way up, so it's uh, it's draining. I wonder if I took the Mario off. You see, when I go forward on the, you see the pitch going forward, it's very severe. But when it's going backwards, it's very slight. So that's kind of bizarre. I think the battery's dying. Yes, I seen that light flashing under there. Yeah. And this has a thousand milliamp hour battery. Okay. Yeah, the battery's dead. So the flight time is terrible also. Yeah, the flight time's not that good. Like I said, it's a damn collector's item. You know what this flies like? This flies just like that... Um, Vivitar Air Defender. Um, it's kind of basically the same kind of quad. Uh, if you took the Mario off of here, um, it would probably fly probably a lot better, actually, to take all this weight off of it. I mean, it does have that 1,000 milliamp hour battery, so you would probably be able to get some good flight time on it. There's some screws there that are holding Mario in the uh, holding this down on that side and the front of it I'm not sure maybe it's glued or yeah but there's some screws up in there too but those are probably for the the arms yeah all right guys it's not that good I know I wasn't expecting it to be. Okay, it's not like I bought this thing thinking it was going to be like a, like a damn, you know, tarantula or something like that. You know, I bought this expecting it to do exactly what it did, which was be crap. Okay. But, you know what? The kids would love it. You know, fly it around in the living room. And you're not going to break it, hit nothing because it's got these big pads on it. So, yeah, it is what it is. As expected. Alright guys, thanks for watching.